how does it feel? You woke up this morning, you have the activities of your limb, you're able to press the screen. How does that feel? How does it feel to be in the matrix again? How is the game of life feeling for you? How does it feel? <laughs> I just love your knowledge and your energy. Oh, thank you, Queen B. I appreciate you. Good afternoon. Jesus Christ up in here. Say it ain't so. The Christ conscious one? <laughs> Welcome, welcome to my live, Jesus Christ. That's his username, y'all. We got Jesus Christ over here. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Surely you could walk on water. Surely you could defy, defy gravity over there. The Christ conscious one. Surely you already know about manifestation. Let's see, we're at 641. We almost there. At 700 on God is just be healthy. I'll get started. We're talking about manifestation today and as it applies to your right now reality. Lately, I have been talking about eating for your blood type because your blood mm -hmm, has memory. Your blood is your footprint to your DNA, like, right? Your blood, your bloodline is where you stem from, your ancestors, the mothers and fathers that you should be honoring, the forefathers before you, right? The blood, we had 681, we almost there, we almost there. And so lately, I've been talking about your blood and the reason why I talk about the blood is because your blood Plus the food that you eat creates a chemical reaction called lectins. Lectins can cause you inflammation in your body. And so the people that's been listening, this is why the person said I, I'm down 20 pounds. The people that have been listening and know their blood type after they go to Amazon, E-L-D-O-N, and order the E-L-D-O-N, Elden at Home Kit, to find out their blood type. After they find out their blood type, they run over to my website, link in the bio, where I have meal plans, per, um, a seven day meal plan, including all highly beneficial meats, fish, well, meat, seafood, fruits, uh, vegetables, nuts, seeds, beans, legumes, condiments, herbal teas, and everything that you need, your oils, your spices, everything that applies to your blood type and everything that's highly beneficial is combined together in a seven day meal plan. So people are losing weight, they gain their mental clarity, they tapping into them higher selves, so into their higher selves. And so what's what's next after that? See, I, I, I practice mindfulness here on God is just be, but I can't always be talking about health and wellness because there's some people that are ready to trump that. So today we're talking about mindfulness. After you learn how to manipulate energy with the food, after you realize that you're your own savior that you've been looking for and you save yourself with the food, now your mind, your mental gonna be wide open, right? After you download your meal plan and know the highly beneficial foods that was gonna, that's gonna increase your frequency, know the foods that you need to avoid because those are the foods that put the hole in your gut. Those are the foods that cause your autoimmune, your high blood pressure, your diet, BDs, your diet, BDs, your diabetes. Yeah, those are the foods that you need to leave alone. You'll have your at-home herbal kit in order to detox your liver, your kidneys, your large and small intestines. You have instant weight loss cheat codes. If you purchase the bundle blood type, that's the third option on my website, the third black bar, that'll give you everything that you need. But outside of that, <laughs> this is what I'm really here for because it is truly, it's not what man puts inside of his mouth that's defiling him. It's the thing that's coming out of man. That, that thing right there, that defiles the man. I didn't turn my ring off. Sorry about that. But here we go. I want to talk about mindfulness. For those of you who are just meeting me today, I am Goddess Just Be. If you click on the link at my website, you I mean on my bio, you'll see the link to my website. It's right here, salt of the earth pub dot org. You have to put dot org to get there. TikTok did want to prove my website because I guess they want me to do ads or whatever. So I kind of like play with it a little bit. This is my website, y'all, saltoftheearthpub.org. Somebody type .org. Somebody type .org so the people that come in know they got to add the dot. So it ain't working for me because you ain't have the .org. Can anybody type .org for me? .org. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So to get there, www.saltoftheearthpub.org and you'll get to this here main screen. What I'm talking about, the bundle that I'm talking about is this last black bar. That's going to give you your highly beneficial foods for your blood type, your weight loss cheat codes, your at-home herbal um, potion, 
your seven day meal plan everything that you need to get back in alignment with your health and wellness but today we're talking about how does it feel how does it feel so as far as when you get your mental clarity and your activity of your limbs now your mind gonna be open you're gonna want more information you're gonna want more from your avatar now since now you can get up now you're not beast, obese no more now you don't you don't not overweight now you're not out of breath mentally fatigued is gone now you have your cognitive th cognitive thinking and reasoning reasoning back now it's gonna be like a light switch went off so I want you to pay attention to in the biblical text where it said <laughs> If you don't come as a child, you can't make it into the kingdom. And so where is this kingdom? This kingdom is within you, your mind, your subconscious mind. So I want to teach a little bit about manifestation since your mind going to be wide open. Since critters ain't going to be gnawing at you, parasites ain't going to be inside of your digestive system no more. And if they're not up in here, that means they're not going to be up in here because everything is connected. So when you clear up this, rid your body of the parasites, link in my bio for your meal plan if that's what you want to do in your journey. If not, keep them up in here. It's not your season just yet. Sleep and slumber just a little bit more. I'm happy that you're here though so that you could allow the words that I'm saying to be downloaded in your subconscious mind because it never sleeps. Yeah, it knows all and remembers all. So I'm happy that you graced me with an ear, but you ain't hearing just yet. But when you get to the place where you want to hear, when you have the ears that you can hear, when you have the eyes and now you find you can see, this is what I want you to do with your manifestation practice. I want you to pay attention to how it feels. For whatever it is that you're wanting in the physical reality, how does it feel? Even if you're sick right now, your attention span might be a little bit low, but you could do this now. You might jump it in and out of it. You probably don't conjure up minutes of energy doing it, but you could still practice mindfulness in your sickness on the bed, being obese. You can imagine how it'll feel, just like a little child. How would it feel to be 50 pounds lighter? How does it feel? What does your day look like? What kind of clothes did you have on? How do you walk now? Do you wake up early? <laughs> Could somebody tell me how it feels to be healthy? Does it feel free? Does it feel uplifting? How does it feel? So with your mind's eye, wherever you are right now, and if you're in a sick state of being, imagine how it feels now to be healthy. How it feels now to be off of all of those prescription drugs. How it feels now to have your time back. You rise early, clear-minded. I love that. I love that, Carletta. So here we go. How does it feel? And so when you, when you pay attention to how you feel, I'm not just talking about what you're seeing. I need you to use all of your senses. I need you to touch it. Yeah, yeah, I'm teaching you mindfulness. I need you to see it. I need you to taste it. I need you to hear the sounds around you. I want you to touch it. I want you to use all of your superpowers to conjure up this feeling. So let's say, for example, you lay down in the bed and you feel in pain. Okay, we 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 gonna ignore that pain just for a couple of seconds. Now we gotta imagine we're no longer in the bed. We're at the beach. Just all I need is your mind. I don't need you to get out the bed. I don't need you to move at all. I just need your mind to jump over there because energy is neither created. Energy is neither created nor destroyed. It simply transforms. So guess what? It's already created the life that you want. You just got to jump over there. So I'm asking you. I don't know yet, but I'm shaking the shackles off. Yeah, I like that. That's progress. That's progress. How long does it take to get the order immediately after you put in the correct email address? You'll get your receipt and the order will be on your phone. You just click on the link that's on the order. It'll tell you whatever, like if you got blood type O, click on the words blood type O and you'll be able to see it instantly. It's an instant download. So here's what I want you to do if you're not, if you're not feeling too well. I want you to quantum jump out of that bed to the beach. Oh, you are healthy now. You got the strength now. And now at the beach, I'm quantum jumping with you. I'm at the beach with you. I'm not standing in front of this here. I'm teaching you mindfulness for anything that you want. Now at the beach, you healthy. 
You twitching and everything. You confident. You smiling. Can you see your smile? I see you smiling. I'm there with you. I'm smiling there with you. What are we smelling? Let's pay attention. Let's milk this moment. I will talk about health in a minute, but but here's the thing about why I'm teaching you about um, mindfulness is because the physical, all of this stuff that I've been sharing with you is really only 0.01%. The spiritual is 99.999, where you stem from, okay? So I need you to get this part. Hey, Linus. Hey, hey, mystical. Monique. Okay, so we at the beach. For those of you who are getting, coming just in, we are quantum jumping from wherever we are. We about to go to the beach, y'all. I don't care if you are broke in your physical, if you are sick, if you are in a wheelchair. I don't care if you're in hospice, in jail, or Yale. I don't care with that 0.01% that you see, I don't care. We going to the beach. So we at the beach, let's quantum jump. We at the beach, like I said, you're there, I'm there. You're smiling. So we gotta use our, our senses at the beach. What do we see? What do you see? Do, could you tell me what you see at the beach? What's at the beach, y'all? Come on, we at the beach. Open your eye, your mind's eye, and tell me in the comments, what's at the beach? Do you see anything at the beach? Are we in darkness at the beach? Because every time I go to the beach, I see a whole bunch of light. What do you see at the beach? Put it in the comments. Let me see what you see. Let me see what you're seeing through your mind's eye at the beach. Okay, 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 we see some water. Okay, that's beautiful. We see some sand, we see some seagulls. Oh, the sun, the sun at the beach. Oh my God, that sun feels so good. I wonder if the water is cold. Palm trees, hotels, okay, okay. I want, oh, the waves. Oh, the waves are so big. They look like they could knock us over. They look like they could knock us over. Oh, the waves, the wind, the wind is in the waves. The wind is just tossing the waves. There's a current out there. Oh my God. But wait, we don't want in our mind's eye, we don't want to fight, fight against the current. We want to go with flow. We want to go with flow. We want to allow ourselves to feel this wind. Can you feel that wind on your on your skin? Can you feel that? How does that feel? Oh, if I could explain how it feels. It almost feels like, to me, it feels like, oh, it feels like my ancestors are with me on this, 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 at this beach. It feels like infinite intelligence is just gracing me with it, its presence. It feels so welcoming it feels it feels so soft it feels so comforting to me that's just the wind we we didn't really just get the heat of oh my god can you feel it the heat of the sand on your feet so that lets me know you could feel the sand oh my god you're right i had my shoes on i just i just took my flip-flops off because now my feet are feeling that heat that you feel I feel the sand between my toes. Oh, I like curling up my toes in the sand. I like the feeling of that wind, that breeze. Oh, and that sun, the sun, like somebody said, it's just melting my skin. All of a sudden I feel warm. Oh, cause it's really, really hot out here. Oh, oh wait, can you taste anything? Wait, hold up y'all, I could taste something. I could taste the healing microbes in the air because all of that fresh oxygen that, that I'm breathing in, oh, I could just taste it. I could just taste, oh, the salty water. I could just taste the minerals. Oh, doesn't it taste refreshing? Oh my God. Can you hear anything? What do you hear? Do you hear things? Yes, yes. Do you hear something? I hear those seagulls that somebody typed in the comment. I hear those waves. This feels good. This feels like right now, this feels, this feels like the healthy me being present showing up here right now. Oh my God, what a feeling. So we, right now we have touched it. We done tasted it. We done seen it with our own eyes. We didn't heard it. This is called conjuring up energy. This is called quantum jumping into the state that you want versus the state that is. 
you keep on doing this thing and what you're doing is you tricking your subconscious mind because your subconscious mind don't know wait hold up we at the beach or is she at her house is she laying down in the bed or is she walking insane because you can trick the subconscious mind <laughs> with being in any state of being that you want to be in and so you keep doing things like this and you come energy so much so that you didn't quantum jump over there next thing you know you you just said you say you know i remember the other day when i was just laying down in bed and i wasn't feeling good and i, and I used to think about this place and and here i am it seems like it was just yesterday that i wanted to be healthy and yesterday i wanted to travel more and be here at the beach with my feet in the sand and the sun kissing my skin and being hydrated by this here same water and the taste of the salt in the back of my throat because i feel and taste the healing microbes in the air Seemed like that was just yesterday. And here it is. I'm here now. Because this is the true work as God is being a master manifester. Hey, Dion. As being a master manifester, a manipulator of energy. This is your God-giving power. So you use this power. You use this with your health. You use this with money. You use this with relationships. You use this by manipulating energy because you are a master manifester. And though I talk about health and wellness, I understand what I'm doing here. Don't think, don't think I don't know what I'm doing. I'm ordering your steps. <laughs> I'm strategically planning your next level for your game of life because I'm teaching you how. <laughs> To pay attention to the things that feel good. The foods that are highly beneficial for your blood type. I'm giving you hope. I'm, I'm allowing you to quantum jump by you eating the foods for your blood type. And you digesting them. You starting to feel better. Like, oh, I wonder, I wonder if this is going to really, really keep on helping me. And keeping me going to the bathroom like this. Because if I have lost 20 pounds, then guess what? I could see myself at my ideal weight. If, if I'm not regular and I wasn't, not, maybe I could get so regular till I can get up out of this hospice. Maybe, maybe I could rewrite my story. I'm teaching you how to rewrite your story. I'm teaching you how to, to be hopeful of wherever you quantum jump into. I'm clearing up your mental clarity and allowing you to have the cognitive thinking that you long for to hold the momentum of that thought over there that you think is really hard to attain, but you really ain't gotta work and you ain't gotta do. See, life teaches us that we gotta do, 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 do. I'm here to tell you my, my name and God is just be for nothing, baby. No, you ain't gotta do nothing. All you gotta do actually is be, just be. You gotta just be present with the thing that you want. Yeah, and if that's health and wellness, be present with it. <laughs> if that's financial gain, be present with it. If that's a partner, be present with it. <laughs> because here, here, here go another gem that was in the biblical text. Absent from the body means present with the Lord. Okay, let's break that thing down. Absent <laughs> from this body, quantum jumping over there means present with all that there is. The endless possibilities of your mind as a conscious creator. Absent from paying attention to this 0 0.01 physical where you're sick and maybe broke and you're single and you may be tired and you may be depressed. Absent from thinking about that means present with the opposite of what you was thinking over there. Now you have everything and anything because now you're at zero point energy where all creation is, where everything that has been created lies. You're not in your box no more. <laughs> Your limited way of thinking? No, you're not in the box. You're in the multi-dimensional universe. Simultaneously existing. Everything and nothing at the same time. That's you. That's your birthright. And so sometimes when we experience sickness and disease or, or when our money looking funny, it might, you might be like, girl, uh-uh, because -uh, I'm broke. No, 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 no. You, you know what percentage of you is broke? 0 0.01. But the rest of you, the spiritual side of you, is in alignment with riches. <laughs> but you talk about you broke. You know what part of you is sick? Uh-huh. 
Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, I know that pain feel real. Yeah, it's called the game of life. You're a manipulator of energy. That's how cold you are with it. You know how to really trick your own self. But guess what? It really don't exist. You really sick. Percentage wise, zero point zero one percent of sickness. But to you, it's it's so major because it's happening to you. And you think it's so major. Oh my God, it's happening to my avatar self. I have inflammation. I'm inflamed in my avatar self. But really, your avatar self is really only experiencing 0.01. No matter how inflamed, no matter how chaotic your diet has been, that's really only 0.01 of inflammation for you. <laughs> because you're 99.999% of your inner being that decided to stay in this here area right here, this area that you can't see, going your inner being, your spiritual essence, it's in alignment and it's saying, everything's perfect. All is well with you. You're in the right place at the right time. And life is unfolding perfectly for you. And you, you might be, you might get disgusted. This is why we feel emotion. You might get disgusted to hear that. Because you feel it, you're zero point zero one. You want to focus on that. No, what do you mean? Everything is perfect. It can't be perfect. Where is God? No, 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 no. The God is your ninety nine point nine 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 percent of yourself that's saying everything's perfect. Quantum jump. Ignore that physical. Go general. Be easy on yourself. You can't get life wrong. You're always winning and learning. There's great love here for you. You are worthy. You are perfect. You're a phenomenal being. You're God in physical form. <laughs> but a lot of times, we don't want to hear that. So I came to teach you how to manifest and hear that thing. And see, the thing about it is your subconscious mind, the little limited program that you have, is designed to keep you there, to keep you believing that that 0 0.01 is all that there is. It's designed to keep you there because you created a law in your mind that said, where's that? So now it's hard to come out that box that you to create. Meanwhile, you're in a being saying, no, you're not. You're perfect. Let me show you. You're healed. You're wealthy. You're eternal. You're God. But you said, no, 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 I can't be. I'm sick. Look at this. Look at, look, 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 look at my wrist pain right here. Look at my 0 0.01 right here. And uh, you're in a being saying, no, but I want you to pay attention to your 99.999. If you just give some energy to pay attention to that, then guess what? You'll come out that box. I just want you to peek, peek, peek outside of the box, tippy toe outside of the box, even if you're scared. You ain't got to close the box, but just peek out of it. Maybe you can stay in there and just hold on to it as long as you need to. But I want you to see what's outside of the box. Outside of your box, and we call in your box the programming that you gave your subconscious mind to yield to you, your silly limited thinking, your silly limited laws that you gave your subconscious mind. Outside of that box is where your 99.9% .9 of your inner being resides. It knows how to stay in alignment. And the only reason why you feel crappy is because you are not in alignment with it. Because when you feel good, you are totally in alignment with your inner being. When you feel hopeful, when you feel healthy and wealthy and prosperity, when you feel like God in physical form, there go alignment. There go all of your blessings. But when you sit there and you hold on to the idea. See, we make ourselves suffer when we hold on to the idea of a certain outcome, a certain attachment. No, I'm attached to this. The doctor said, no, I have the papers right here. I'm attached to this. And if I don't take this medication, this is going to be happening to me because I'm attached to this. But if you could just surrender to the idea that you are boundless. Surrender to the idea. All I'm telling I'm not telling you to do nothing. Keep, stay focused. Somebody type in a comment, there's nothing to do. There's nothing to do. 
somebody type this because I'm not telling you there is no action that needs to take place here. I'm not, I don't want you to misinterpret my message today. There is nothing to do, but it's everything to be. Nothing to do. Everything to be. This is your mind. This is your state of your mind being there. And you visit this moment. You quantum jump and you visit it. And you got to get to the place in your journey where it's so juicy. It's so fun to visit this moment. It's so juicy to just jump over there in my mind that I don't even care what this physical reality is saying. I'm rushing home to work because I want to get in my bed and I just want to lay down and I just want to jump over there. I don't care that I don't have it just yet. Matter of fact, if somebody were to tell me that I ain't getting it. That'll be okay. That'll be okay. You got to get here. That'll be okay because I'm going to release all of the attachments from any outcome. But Lord, just as long as I can milk the feeling. Because now I understand ain't nothing for me to do. I just feel good. Just be. Ain't nothing to do. Ain't nothing to do. And the being part go, go get you there. Letting go of the resistance or the outcome. Go get you there. Go get you everything you want. Whether this is health and wellness, whether it is money, you gotta be it. So I want to teach you now. We're going we to graduate. Y'all got time. Y'all got time today. We're going to graduate. And, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speed it up for your manifestation. Because sometimes people want more than one thing. Is there anybody that want more than one manifestation? I mean, I know we're God's creating. We're master manifestors, you know. But I got to ask this silly question. Is there anybody that want more than one thing? <laughs> you got time today. Hey, lady, but. Okay, okay. So if you want, anybody, anybody over here? Anybody want more than one thing to show up? Want more than one thing. Maybe you want, you know, to be healthy. But you want some money, too. You know, maybe, maybe you want money, but you also want a partner too, you know. Maybe you want to travel, but maybe you want, you know, to <laughs> be at home sometimes too, because you have such a beautiful house that you manifested, okay? Okay, here, here, here we go, here we go, we, we go get some more. So now, now this is, this is, this is a, another level of manifestation for you. You loop whatever it is that you are wanting. You create a whole imaginary, imaginary scene of the day. So in the first scene, we, we in our physical, we were laying down in our bed and maybe we weren't feeling too good. And me, I was on his this live, but everybody just had went to the beach. I don't know if you were there. <laughs> there you go. That's what I'm talking about, health and money at the same darn time, right? I don't know if you were on the beach. I don't know if your mind jumped there. But if you didn't go on the beach with us, then you missed out. We had a whole retreat at the beach and you missed it. We were feeling and playing in the sand. You know, they had some um, <laughs> they had some healing microbes in the air. And the sun was touching our, our body. The seagulls, everything that was there, you missed it. It was so beautiful. Y'all got to tell the people that just came through all about that. But now here we go. We, we ignored. We ignored. Girl, we ain't sick. We ain't sick. We traveling the world right now. Come on, we about to travel again. But this time, not only are we going to be healthy when we travel over there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I regret that I didn't um, turn my ring off because I have a, a busy phone, y'all. I have a busy phone, but but I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that I can get this message through. Okay, so so we don't care that we 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 we. we with, with, with whatever the hell, I don't care what, what whatever your life is. We, you don't care. We, it don't, it don't matter. It don't matter. We at the beach. We healthy. But along with us being healthy at this beach, we need money. Cause um, we 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 might get hungry out here. We we want to sightsee. You know, where, 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 where are we? Are we in Miami? Did, what state is this, guys? I mean, where are we? We are we out of the country? <laughs> where are we? You know, so so it might be it might be a little costly, you know, but that's okay. It's costly to the people that ain't got nothing. We 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 millionaires, we millionaire mindsets, right? Right? So we abundant mindset, right? So we could buy whatever, we could go wherever, we could stay at the top of hotels or you know, we, we got our little driver, you know, butler, maid service, we got our assistant, whatever it is that you want. This is how you loop your health your health 
with your wealth, and then you can loop it with a man or a woman or whatever you into, right? Here we go. We're back at the beach. I'm there. You're there. Now, we felt all of those things with our senses. Now, because we are attracting money, we imagine what it feels like to be financial free while at this beach. So that means now when we're at the beach, our mind is clear. We ain't worried about getting back now. Why we ain't worried about getting back home? Because we don't have a job. We don't have a, hey, Miss V, we don't have a job. Imagine that, if you will. Imagine you being self-employed. You're tired. You used to work wherever you work now. You don't work there no more. You don't work there no more. Oh, how does that feel? Now we got to conjure up. We still at the beat. We conjuring up how, how we walk. Do we walk different? <laughs> do we twitch our ass a little bit harder? Do we, if we're a man, do we poke out our chest? Do we do the chest rub that the men like to do? Do we, do we stand up there and, 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 <laughs> and rock like the men do? Kind of like to open up that growing area to, to exert his dominance, his power. Like the men do, do we do these type of things? Do we fold our arms and feel large and in charge if we like a man? What, what, what do we do? <laughs> and we do, yeah. Yeah, what do we do? So if you're a lady, you might be on the beach and you, you lightly step in. You, you walking slow now because there is no rush. There's no place to be. You're taking all of this in. And so wait, 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 there's a, there's a private area. Yeah, you know, because we have riches. A private area for us. Let's go sit down under these umbrella, shall we? They're waiting for us with drinks, shall we? So we're sitting down we're sitting down on our little, our little reclining chair underneath the umbrella because we've had enough of the sun. We've had, a, had enough of the sun for, for this moment. We're gonna take a little break. And there's nowhere to be. We're flicking our finger. Oh wait, hold up, we're looping something. We're looping a relationship. So guess what? When we're looping, we're flicking our finger right here. Wait, hold up, we got carrots on our hand. We're, we're, we're in a relationship for those of you who want that kind of thing. Oh yeah, my my husband will be right back. He went to go and ask for another drink for me. Yeah, and we're just we're just allowing our fingers to just <laughs> to just dangle so that everybody could get blinded by these diamonds in the ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see that? You see how I loop that? So I'm already healthy. I'm already wealthy. Wait, hold up. There's a laptop right here. While my darling is getting me a drink. While he's getting me a drink, I'm gonna log in to the account because I just got a notice from the bank. They're wanting me to verify a large check that I wrote just for my security. You log in in your mind's eye to your computer, to your bank, you enter the password. You touching in your mind's eye the computer, you know what size computer it is. You know what the cover looks like on the computer. You know what you have on. You know what your ring looks like. You can feel this 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 is this wind blowing. You can smell this this healing microbe. You can hear these these seagulls. You're in the now. And now you're opening up this laptop. And you're logging in. You're a millionaire. Surely. Surely your money is there. Log in, look at your money. What is the amount of money that you see on the screen? How does it feel when you see that number, your available balance on the screen? How does that feel? Hey husband, I know that's right. Hey, hey big daddy. Oh, you back already? I ain't even logged in the computer just yet. Wait, hold up babe. The bank had called and and there was this check that they were uncertain about and you know we paid so and so we just we just gifted so and so because we had and we just wanted to give back so i'm gonna go ahead and tell the bank babe that they could go ahead and, and release that check that it's okay they were just trying to protect us babe give me a kiss babe and babe kiss you on your cheek and now you successfully logged in you release you release the confirmation you authorize the bank to give that money away because you have so much and you don't even care because you know they ain't the only bank you banking with. That's not the only stream of income you have. Everywhere you go, you turn it into money. Every time you open up your mouth, the money just, just coming back into your account. You have a million dollar mouthpiece. Ain't nothing to do. 
It's because you're just being. You being still and you realizing that I'm God. There's nothing to do. This is the kind of gangster mindset I need you to have in every aspect of your life. You loop your health with the partner that you want, with the money that you want, with whatever it is that you want in imagination kind of scene and you focus on that scene. And you feel good about that scene. You take that partner with you home. You come home from work and you're excited, you're twitching your ways, you're excited about getting out the shower because Big Daddy in the room. Hey Big Daddy, I was about to go to the kitchen and get us something to eat. Something highly beneficial. Yeah, for both our blood ties, Big Daddy. You want some pineapple juice? And you go to the kitchen and you drink what's highly beneficial for you knowing that it is healing your body. Knowing that Big Daddy up in there. Knowing that you got money in the account. Knowing and feeling and being healthy, wealthy, happy at the same daggone time and nobody can tell you nothing. And I'm going to predict your future for you. Even though you're a master manifester, you should already know what the ending gonna be like. I'm gonna predict your future for you, God. You're gonna do this and you're gonna have fun with it because joy is the key. You're gonna keep on doing this and you're gonna have so much fun with this here thing. <laughs> that you're gonna stumble upon the first thing you're gonna get though. You're gonna stumble upon the first thing you're gonna get though. You're gonna stumble upon. The one that you had the least resistance for. Out of whether it is the man, the money, or the health. There's one of them. See, we all we all have different experiences in different areas of our life, right? So for some of us, money is easy to give, but lo, y'all got a stumbling block with my health. Oh no, no, no. Health is easy to get, but I gotta stumble on a block with a relationship. Everybody got something because what happens is one of these things you want real, 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 real bad and it's not here today. And you look at your physical and you're like, when is going to be my turn? And you type in them silly comments when people get married on TikTok, you say, see God, I see what you're doing for others. Or hello God, it's me again because you want it so much when you should have been paying attention to how them people was feeling. And you should have conjured up their overflow and you should have milked that overflow as if it was happening to you at the same time. But you didn't because you wanted too much and you're so thirsty for it that you don't realize that you build an invisible shield of resistance in the spiritual realm that's stopping you from getting the very thing because you want it so much. Because you have this uncontrollable attachment to the idea of it. Like, oh, I was supposed to have it at this age. I don't have it now. So, oh my gosh. Maybe it ain't gonna come. That go to shield of resistance. Meanwhile, this is this might be a relationship for some. Meanwhile, oh yeah, girl, I got money. You need to borrow some. Oh yeah, I'm always having money. I don't know. Well, I don't know why I always have money. Could it be that you don't give a damn because you already feel prosperous in that area, but you don't feel prosperous in this here area? So what's gonna happen to you is the one that you have the least resistance for, it's gonna manifest first. <laughs> it's coming first because you don't really care about the outcome of that. Cause you're so used to that. Oh yeah, I never really had a problem all my life with that thing. I could manifest that thing really, really easy. Yeah. Yeah, I knew I was gonna be healthy again. I mean, I knew that was just a stumbling block in my life. I mean, I knew them doctors didn't know what, what the healers knew. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just eat for my blood type and look. See, I told you, I knew it. I, I told you I'll be healthy again. But that was just one thing that you was just able to release the resistance so easily because you didn't have no attachment to it. Because guess what, you knew, you knew. But there's something in everybody's life that they struggle with. Nobody's exempt. But be, it is because of the fact that you want this one thing. And you think when people like me say, release the idea of it. You think that means that I'm telling you, let it go. And so you, you're like, no, but if I let it go, that means maybe, maybe it's not going to happen. And I, I don't know. I don't want to let it go because I really want it to happen. And you're telling me to let it go and you tell me to just be, but no, I'm so used to lying to other people and tell other people that, that I don't want it and I really do want it, that 
I don't want the energy to think that I'm lying when I say that I don't really want it and then I don't get it because I'm afraid that I could confuse the universe because I let it go and I don't want to let it go because I want it and I can't stop thinking about it. I really, really want it. I really, really want it bad, 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 bad. And that's why you're not getting that thing. <laughs> because we at the beach. We at the beach. And when we want to have fun with the waves at the beach, imagine ourselves walking into the water. We talked about the current and the waves and everything, right? We walking in the water. We getting our ass beat. We getting our ass beat by the waves and the current, right? <laughs> yes, that's the catch. That's the catch. We getting our ass beat because the waves are beating us, smacking us in our face. Because we want to get to a certain place. We want it. We want it. We want it. That's akin to you constantly thinking about the thing that you want. So I want you to know, <clears throat> excuse me, I want you to know what you want. But then once you find out what you want, when you quantum jump over there and you find out what it is you want, I want you to let it go. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, it might sound crazy. Let it go. Yeah, because you didn't get everything that you needed to do. You asked by quantum jumping over there. You asked, you thought for it. Ask and you shall receive. You don't receive or you delay your manifestation if you're going to sit up there and ask and keep checking. Ask and be afraid. Ask and worry. Ask and doubt. No, 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 no. It's ask and you shall receive. Now, and the door is open. You see? <laughs> you see? So here we go. You will receive the one that you have the least resistance for first. And what I want you to do with this here, I'm teaching you how to loop your manifestations together. You're going to receive the one you have the least resistance first. And when you receive it, I want you to think about what you did to receive it. And it's going to be the easiest thing that you did. But I want you to notice that pattern because whatever you did to receive that thing right there is the thing that you need to do to receive that big thing that you think is unattainable. And I could tell you what you did to receive that thing. You didn't care about it. You didn't create resistance from it. You wasn't tied to the outcome of it. You, you, you just, you just manifested you held on to the idea it felt good and you let it go and you manifested again and you built up more momentum and energy for it it felt good and you let it go and you thought about it again it felt good and in between you wasn't doubting you wasn't worried you wasn't scared and all these different things you see what i'm saying that's you manifesting and you looping your wildest dreams this meal plan, this bundle, I'm so happy that I could create this for you. But you are a master creator, a manipulator of energy. And I want you to understand your God-given birthright as it pertains to the supernatural. Now you can get to know all the ins and outs. And I love knowing what I know about the ins and outs of this physical. But that that is evident of the life that I spent on low frequency trying to get my self out of the hellish state of being that I was in, right? But when I learned how to manipulate energy, it is so much less work that you have to do to stay afloat. So you get there to the winds and the waves, the, 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 the waves that have been beating your ass because you created resistance for them. And here's the most beautiful part about being at this beach. When you can surrender and let it go and just relax your arms and let those same winds and waves that was beating your ass with sickness, beating your ass with a broken relationship, beating your ass with financial uh, freedom because it wasn't coming, you let yourself go. You let the idea of the outcome go and you surrender to the winds and the waves and here's what's going to happen. You going to float yourself to shore and it's going to feel so easy. It's going to feel so purposeful. It's going to be so perfect for you to be right at shore where you started from. But yet, you're happier. Yet, you're more fulfilled. Yet, you enjoyed yourself along the way. You see what I'm saying here? Joy is the key. Joy is the key, y'all. 
Just being is the key. It ain't just my username. It's the key. Just be. Just be still and know that I'm God. Just be still and know that I am healthy. Just be still. I ain't asking you to believe nothing. I'm asking you to be. No, no, no. Believe ain't, ain't enough. I'm asking you to know it. Like, I don't care what other people have seen. I don't care what this physical says. These are the things that I know. I know that I know that I know that I am financial free. I know that I am wellness. I know that I have the desires of my heart because I carry them things with me in my heart every day. And your signal energetically is going to increase. And when your signal energetically begins to increase, your friends, your so-called your so-called reflections going to see, they're going to be like, oh, you got to go. What you got to mean? Meanwhile, all you've been doing at home is in your head, creating imagination scenes, twitching your ass, going back and forth to the refrigerator, asking somebody that's really not there in the physical if they wanted something out of the refrigerator so they could see your ass, holding on to a pillow, pretending that it is him and he ain't even show up yet. But they're seeing the fact that you done opened up and went into the vortex without even having. <laughs> they're seeing the fact that you know energetically that it is here you can feel it already you know because you've been carrying him with you you know because you've been checking your online account and you know the balance in there you know because you have seen the ring it is on your finger right now you know because you have seen the medical report you see that everything is in balance because you know you have a bit and they're seeing that you know like something's different about you you seem more upbeat and more happy. They're letting you know up. Your signal changed. The thoughts that you were emitting come, went out and they're not coming back to you void. They can't come back to you void. No, and you're saying, no, I, you know, just, just oh nothing because you don't want them to know because everybody don't need to know what you're thinking in your home. Everybody don't need to know how you manipulated your energy in your home. Everybody don't need to know this just as long as you. You're the operating power just as long as you know that you know, that you know, then you can do anything. But all you gotta do is be still and know that I'm God. And you know, I, I like to, I like to, you know, move my shoulders a little bit when I say that, you know. I like to like, you know, yeah, you know, yeah. Cause I'm, I'm cold with it, you know, cause that's how I finesse, you know, you know, you know. I be jolting like that, like my son said, I be jolting like that, you know, you know. You know, I can't get it wrong, you know. Building up your self-concept, building up your self-esteem, building up that signal. That, yeah, 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 well, you know, you know, you know, I'm worthy, I'm worthy, you hear me? Yeah, yeah, you're too dimmy not to hear that I'm worthy because my subconscious mind know I'm worthy because of all the things that I now know and have the ability to attract to me. You see? <laughs> yeah, well, well, you know, you know, you know, yeah, you know, you know. It's about time that you stop outsourcing. Well, you know, I couldn't have did it without Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. How about just, I thought that thing up. Yeah, well, you know, you know, that's how I be thinking and stuff. You know, I'm a conscious creator, you know. You know, I'm a creator, creating, you know. I'm a manifesting, manifesting. That was my thought right there. Yeah, 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 well, okay. Hey, it, it took me a couple of nights, man, drifting off to sleep thinking about that thing. And that's all I had to do. All I had to do was think about that thing. And look at it right there. I was thinking about that thing. That's my thoughts. My call, my thoughts. <laughs> Me being retired, that's my thoughts. Me being on this live talking to you, that's my thoughts. My house, the decor, the decor up in here, that's my thoughts. The birds back there that, that won't leave me alone, that's my thoughts. Look at your life. Those are your thoughts. So why can't you be boastful about your thoughts? Well, you know, you know, you know. I had thought that out. Yeah, well, you know, you know, you know. I mean, that's what I do. Yeah, well, you know, that's, that's my superpower. I mean, I can't get it wrong, you know. Yeah. <laughs> How about there? How about you get into that place or that state of being for yourself? And and when you get to that point, nothing shall by no means harm you. Meal plan. Meal plan. Oh, yeah, I remember when I used to. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that was part of the journey too, yeah. Well, well, you know, you know, you know. I'm God now, I mean, nothing shall by no means on me, you know. You know, I can eat what I want. I just don't really want to, you know, fool with some of that other stuff because I don't really, 
check this out. I don't really, you know, I don't really, really have to even eat, you know, because man, man should not live by bread alone. I mean, eating is really overrated, you know, you know, you know, because I'm really just energy, frequency, and vibration, you know. You know, I really control this avatar self. It don't control me. You, you know, you know, that's how I finesse my avatar. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to eat when I say it. it's going to eat. Yeah. What? Do I take pre and probiotics? What? No, no, no. No, we in balance. I, I talk to the cells in my body. They're good. They're good. They're Gucci. Yeah, because I had, um... I had created a relationship with them when I was healing my trauma, you know? Yeah, I talked to them too. Yeah, people might think that's crazy, but no, they're alive. I'm alive. We all alive. We on this journey together. Yeah. I don't want them to be cast away because I tried that once upon a time and I tried to cast them away and, you know, I ended up with thyroid issues, you know, like, you know, so I check in now, like, throw you all right? Yeah, you all right. Yeah, it reminds me that it's all right. You know, stomach, you okay up in there? What you need? You need something? I'm here for you. You here for me. Okay, okay. Lymphatic system, you flowing? Oh yeah, I can feel you. I can feel you. Oh yeah, I didn't drink my water yet. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm running my mouth. I'm running my mouth. I'm gonna give me a little bit of water for you. Yeah, help you flush that stuff out from last night when you was detoxing my body and getting rid of any weights or 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 cellular weights that you wanted to let go. Because see, you need to let go of some things, just like my trauma of little girls needed to let go of some things. So I'm gonna let you do what you gotta do. Yeah, and I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna, I'm gonna charge you up, you know, with some sun because I know you need to be activated too we have that kind of relationship yeah well other people might not be that deep with it but yeah i know everything is energy frequency and vibration everything some things are sped up some things are slowed down but all things are energy frequency and vibration and guess what i am i'm a manipulator of all of this energy so you know you know that's what i do <laughs> that's what i do i manipulate energy you manipulate energy and don't you forget that part that's a very important part of your journey Manipulate that energy and you make your life what you want it to be. To heck with what it is. This is akin to the biblical text, that parable about Jesus walking on water and Peter sinking. Why did Peter sink? Because Peter was paying attention to what is the 0 0.01. That's what's wrong. We don't know our true identity. Yeah, who we are in Christ. Peter was paying attention to the zero point zero one. Oh, that baby, that baby. But the quite conscious one was paying attention to the 99.999 and said, Oh, you a little face. You gotta be little. It gotta be little. Because guess what? All you really needed, all you really needed, Peter, was a little grain of faith. Like a little teeny, teeny, weeny, 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 weeny mustard seed. That's all you needed, but you didn't even have that. You didn't have that. Oh, you have little faith. Look at all of this here. Endless possibilities. 99.9, 0 0.01. Which one you gonna manifest from? And every day you make a choice, a conscious choice, to manifest from this or this. When you manifest from this here, this 0 0.1, I'll manipulate that energy, yes, because I know, my God, yeah, and it lives and works through you, yeah. When you manipulate the energy, you can manifest from your 99.99 and get your wildest dreams. But when you manifest from your 0 0.01, what is in the physical reality, you get more of the what is -ness. So you're a master manifest. You look at your life, how long you was able to maintain that amount of money in a in a bank account how long you was able to maintain that that broken relationship how long you was able to maintain the trauma and replay the story you see what i'm saying here that's manifesting too now because you surely ain't letting it go you thinking about that thing you worried about that thing you have nightmares over there you worried about some more sickness and up oh, there go another thing something else wrong uh oh like that cut off this week and you worried oh my god i don't have enough money uh oh next week it's gonna be the cable uh oh you manifesting that thing from your 0 0.01 get out of there i say to you oh you dry bones hear the word of the law i will cause breath to enter into you breath means new life baby i will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live but what, is, what does the biblical text, how, how do you live, though? What did it say about it? 
What I gotta do? All you had to do was prophesy, son of man. This is from the book of Ezekiel in the biblical text. Prophesy. Your spoken word. Your ability to just be. Say to these dry bones, I will cause breath to enter into you. So, so, so the biblical text will teach you how to ask. <laughs> I will cause breath to enter into you. And you shall live. That's it. That's all you had to do. He didn't say, you know, we got to go have the surgery. We had to do this. We had to do this. We had to get a hammer and we had to build it. No, 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 no. He said, say unto these dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live. That's it. That's, that's all you had to do. That's all you had to do. Mm -mm. That's it. Understand doing and being. There's a difference with it. <laughs> Yeah, it says we have what we say. So I'm teaching you how to speak the word. I don't want you to just, 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 you're welcome, baby. I don't want you to just not only speak the word, but I want you to speak it and live it. Live that word. Quantum jump over there to everything that you spoke. Quantum jump and pretend that you have that day right now. And so when you speak it, <laughs> you're speaking from your heart, right? Because from the abundance of your heart, your mouth speaking. But then when you're over there tasting it and touching it and experiencing that thing, you're thinking about this thing. So what I'm getting you to do energetically is I'm teaching you how to conjure up an electromagnetic spark. Because feeling the feeling that you have by milking this is coming from your heart speaking it your from the abundance of your heart your mouth is speaking so all of this here is heart heart represents a magnet right the heart the heart represents a magnet there's an electromagnetic form of energy flowing from the heart that has a has ability to attract things to it so what you're going to be attracting your electric spark the things that you're thinking because you're feeling it because <laughs> you're speaking from your heart and together when them two suckers meet bam it has to show up right here right now in your reality because that's your superpower you just put your superpowers together to manipulate energy you hear me I love talking about health and wellness, but today I decided that we're going to talk about the mind. Because the most important thing about this journey is that you don't lose your mind. A mind, your mind, is the most terrible thing to waste. Are you getting this here? Beautiful. I'm so happy you're getting this here. So nonetheless, for those of you that are new to me, I am God is just be. <laughs> I help people in any state of being that they are, mindfulness, physical, you name it. Because we are God's experience ourselves and being that we're energy, frequency, and vibration, we all vibrate. Will you marry me? <laughs> you that is so funny. Thank you. I appreciate you, babe. We all vibrate at different frequencies, right? Many blessings. Same to you, Miss Deborah. Thank you for joining. So we're vibrating at different frequencies and there are some people that are on the sick frequency and to you i say all i'm teaching you how to do is manipulate energy and come on to the other side because you've already experienced what sickness feels like god just want to experience itself we are all in certain areas of our lives the prodigal son and we are just manipulating energy experiencing ourselves in sickness and being that you're a prodigal son over there you're going to find your way back home right i'm just trying to get you to come on back home to the father's house to the father's house that's it and so i teach with health and wellness i teach you about your blood which is your 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 footprint to your dna which um your ancestors had in in their body when they were so conscious you know so woke in that day so healthy so in tune your blood has still the same ability it did then back then in that time as it does in this time because guess what there's nothing new underneath the sun so your blood still has the ability to write your name. 
And so why are we getting our name written? Where are we getting our name written? Well, it's called us tapping into our right and left brain hemisphere. The biblical text will call it the marriage of the bride and the groom, right? <laughs> it's, it's, it's called what the Christ conscious one said when he said, I and the father are one. It's like your super conscious being connected to the, your subconscious being connected to the super conscious, remembering and knowing all things again. It's about you not just using 10% of your brain capacity, but how about you open up the door to experience your 100% of all there is to know about you? This is called the journey of getting to know thyself. But in order to get to know yourself, you got to wake up from the great sleep and slumber and become one of the conscious ones. And when I say conscious, I ain't talking about conscious of what everybody else doing out there. No, no, no. I need you to be conscious of what's going on in here. Because life happens through you, not to you. And you are the operant power manipulating the energy of everything that you see outside of you. Everything outside of you is you pushed out. So you only go run into you. You go run into your signal of feeling worthy because it's going to show, unworthy rather, because it's going to show you in the relationship outcome. You're going to run into the feeling that you're holding in here of lack because it's going to show up in your area of finances, right? You're going to always run into you. That's why I need you to be conscious of you. And how you feel and how you feel really matters because you are sending a signal out that cannot come back to you null and void. Meaning that if you send a signal out that is unworthy, it cannot come back to you null and void. So you have to attract a narcissistic person. If you send out a signal that says that you are lack, you have to open up your bank account and see that you are in a negative in that area of your life. If you send out a signal that I'm always sick, I catch every darn thing, then you have to go to the doctor and he has to tell you, you done caught something else because you sent the signal out. You can blame us. You can blame the food. You can blame anything that you want to blame. But when you become conscious, that means you got to be conscious of everything up in here. And there's no one to blame but self because you are everything. That might be a lot for you to understand in this moment in time and place. But when we come out of the victim mindset and realize, oh, this mean, oh, okay, this mean I'm afraid. And all I've been doing was creating crappy stuff. Then all I got to do is just change the dial and change my attention to all the good stuff that I want and I'll get more of that. Yes. So you're not telling me that I got to do something to fix this, right? No. So you're telling me my doing is me just being. Yes. And if I keep being this, <laughs> I'll send out a new signal and I'll get more of this. Yes. Does this apply to the biblical text when it says the blessings of God are yea and nay man? Yes. You're getting it. You're getting it. I want you to get that part. Because you're going one day I'm going to wake up at that and I'm going to be like, look guys, look, I, I don't talk about health and wellness no more. Because I know me. <laughs> you got it? Y'all need to go to YouTube. Because I'm on a journey too and I'm evolving. I'm evolving. I ain't about to stop. For no sickness and disease, you better catch up. I need you to catch up. Your inner being don't come down and say, oh, you little fella, I heard you was looking for God. I heard you ask the question when you said, I heard you last night crying and you had said, where is God? I'm right here. I'm right here. You ain't being don't do that. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. You don't do that. It don't come out of alignment. No, you got to step up and get in alignment to hit it. So, so one day I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be talking about this here no more. <laughs> Because the mindfulness side of me that is expanding, as I expand even more, I got to take you with me. I got to take you with me to other realms. Come on. Come on. Pick up your bed and walk. Come on. Let your faith make you whole. Come on. You hear me? <laughs> I'm coming. Come on, B. Come on. Yeah, because, because we have other realms to explore. 
This here manipulation of energy, we done did this before. You don't remember yet that you got. You don't remember by your, your birth mark letting you know that you've been here before. That was from your last lifetime. That's the eight chakra pool of energy that you left off trying to figure out last lifetime. You don't remember by the, the, the deja vu that you didn't experience. Oh yeah, that's because you have did this before already and you got a little glitch you don't remember when you see the birds all in line and it looks like a glitch in the matrix oh yeah yeah because it is glitching at that point you don't remember about the movies that you watch like lucy in the matrix and all of these movies about quantum physics in the the mind you know, that that don't show you you because you everywhere yeah <laughs> You everywhere, you're everything, but yet you're nothing at the same time. You don't remember, like when you go to sleep at night and you don't see these familiar faces that you stem from. You don't feel like you're going home when you lay down. You don't remember, you don't figure out that you got when you wake up and you're not woke just yet and your body is just like paralyzed, but yet you see an entity, you see other things from other realms that you stem from. You see these things and you're like, wait, hold up, I can't say nothing, but I see that thing there. They done slowed up time so I could, I could catch on to, I'm going home when I go to sleep. I'm absent from the body when I'm sleeping and I'm present to what all, all there is. You don't, you, you don't get that just yet? You don't get that just yet? Well, you need to catch up. <laughs> you need to catch up to that. Because that's what's going on here. And I want you to get it. I'm hopeful that you're getting it, you're receiving, that you're open to receive, even if after we get off this live and you decide, hey, I'm going to go back in my box, y'all. I'm going to go back in my box and do what I'm used to doing because your subconscious mind wants to keep you underneath those laws that you didn't govern yourself on. But just as long as you come out a little while to play with us a little bit, it's okay if you go back in. But come out every now and then when I go live and come and play. And then one day you're going to put on your big girl drawers or you're going to put on your big boy boxes and you're going to come out and you're going to be like, yeah, I like it out here. I'm confident out here. It's my season to be out here now. Gone is the old me. I done been resurrected again. Oh, no, 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 no. I laid down my life and I died. That old part of me died. But no, 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 they didn't, don't, don't get it twisted now. Uh-uh, they didn't take my life from me. I laid it down. And if I can lay it down, I can pick it back up again. See, I want you to find you in those hidden gems in the biblical text. In your season of becoming conscious, you gotta find you. And there's so many ways you can find you, cause you everywhere. You don't have to be with hell. You can find you with crystals. You can find you with meditation. You can find you by sitting in a room being alone with you, just talking to you. You can find you by hitting uh, Tibetan bulls. You can find you with music. You can find you by looking into the stars at night, cause you are that darkness in the sky. You are that stardust. You are that ground that you set up on. <laughs> you are everything. You are everywhere. So get to paying attention to you. Yes, my lord. Okay, hey, Miss Ben, so I didn't know you was up in here. And Brenda, I'm always flying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is the message for today. For those of you who are new to me, I don't normally get into the mentalism every day. I flip it up. I go mental, physical, and mental, physical. It depends upon how I feel when I wake up. But today I woke up with that on my mind and I wanted to share it with you all. If you are in a state of being when you're physical where you are experiencing sickness or disease or inflammation or autoimmune issues, leaky gut, whatever, pain, arthritis, start Start in the physical by manipulating the energy and using the highly beneficial foods that's available on the meal plan that I prepared for you if you're in that state of being. Highly beneficial foods gonna help you with the increased microbial diversity in your gut. And this here goes into twine with your mindset, your state of being, your cognitive thinking. Because you clear this up, now you're able to think. Now you're able to renew your mind. This is why I teach both um, parts of this here's journey. And so it's going to help you increase your microbiome diversity. Your digestive di enzymes are going to re 
be replenished and be renewed. Your hydrochloric acid is going to return to help you to expel that old waste that might be sitting on, on your stomach and, and break it down to larger particles so it can be expelled via your large and small intestines. By drinking your highly beneficial fruit juices, it'll be tackling even your herbal teas. It'll be tackling your lymphatic system. Your lymphatic system is the backup for your blood, right? And so both ways through bowel movement, through urine, and cleaning them kidneys, will you expel old waste? That's the old you that needs to die. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let that part of you go now. Don't be holding on to that. Don't be holding on to that trauma, that emotional bond with food. Let that stuff die. Release the, the attachment. Release the idea of the, the outcome with that thing. Yeah, let it die. Let it be expelled outside of you. And when you begin to let those things die in here, then you'll be renewing this right here. At the same time so it's available at the link yes goodbye to the old me there you go as always it has been so informative you are so welcome can't thank you enough always looking forward to your lives whatever you talk about <laughs> it is fact and received thank you so much so that's what I come with most of the time I'm about to wrap this here up because I have a couple of things to do I might come a little later on this today because I'm retired I manifested the life that I desire that I love that it means something to me to be free to be able to be in a position to help my reflections at free will and so I might come on a little bit later but for those that are interested in that the link is in my bio if not you can go right here to salt of the earth pub dot org you gotta have the org at the end that's my website right there and if the link is at the very top of the screen you have these three boards right here the last third board the black board is the most valuable plan that you can purchase and begin your health journey there but first you need to know your blood type once you know your blood type you in if you don't know your blood type go to amazon first and click on or type in eldon e-l-d-o-n at home kit and purchase your at home kit to find out what your blood type is and you join me on my other lives after you get your blood type your meal plan because i give out so much information on all of my lives on how to live a life that is full of health and wellness both mentally physically and emotionally and spiritually and financially and all of them other leads that you could ever think of okay because you finally be one with the father right this video was from my heart to yours see you this evening miss grateful thank you for being here